Hello everyone! Today I will share to you how to increase your milk supply and how to maintain it. I will also share my story on how I struggled in breastfeeding after giving birth. What supplements I took, what foods I ate, what pump I used, or if they were even effective for me. You will also learn how I managed to breastfeed for more than 3 years. Even after all the struggles I encountered, uh, I still managed to breastfeed for more than 3 years. 3 years and 9 months to be exact. <laughs> My name is Nadine. I'm new to YouTube. So if you have an email, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below here or here. I don't know. Just look for the button below and register your email. Let's start. Please stay with me until the end of this video. Tip number one. Don't buy breastfeeding supplements. It's a total waste of money, mommies. At first, I didn't even know that there are breastfeeding supplements or lactation vitamins to help increase your supply or what they call galactagogues. I discovered them when I was visiting baby fairs and bazaars. Believe me, I've tried all I can find in the market. The Moringa capsules, Moringa oils, fenugreek, thistle, the liquid versions, the tea versions, and even lactation cookies. But it didn't work for me. I've tried them and just stopped because it's not working for me and it's hurting my pocket. Those are expensive mummies. Some of the capsules or oils, you have to take it two, three times or four times a day even. So I, I just stopped. Honestly, I wanted the supplements to work because I was desperate to increase my milk supply. If the supplements, vitamins, or cookies work for you, then please continue. But if you're watching my video, you are probably new to breastfeeding, you're curious, or you're just like me who struggled in her milk supply. Which leads us to my tip number two, what worked for me. My tip number two is homemade or home-cooked bone broth or bone soup. Breast milk is made up of more than 80% water, the rest being lactose, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals, probiotics, and immune cells coming from the mommy to help the baby strong and healthy. Since it's made up of more than 90% water with some fats and carbohydrates, it makes sense that you also take a lot of water and eat foods that are soup-based or that have fats in it. Foods that help you increase your milk supply or aids in your lactation are called galactagogues. So for me, the effective galactagogues are bone broth, weed, moringa plant, and uh, papaya. So at home, I prepared a 1 to 2 liters water and boiled chicken and pork in it. In a day, I drink at least 1 liter of bone broth. That was during the first year of my breastfeeding. It helped me maintain and increase and find my rhythm with my son and just continue breastfeeding. So later, if you try the bone broth and it worked for you, please come back and comment on my video so others can learn that it worked for you, it worked for me, maybe it will work for them too. So please come back and comment and smash that like button. If you have hypertension, please consult your doctor first or just boil the moringa leaves, the plant itself, and the papaya without the chicken and the pork, uh, without any bone broth. My tip number three is don't use electric pumps or manual pumps. Instead, practice hand expression of breast milk. After a few months of giving birth, I needed to go back to the office and I read somewhere that absolutely you must have a pump or an electric pump if you are working, if you are a working mom. So I bought one. I bought the Spectra pump, the blue one, the medical grade. Because it was heavy, I had a stroller with me. I put my pump there, I put my thermal bag with ice inside. The ice is also heavy 
and I also have my my milk bottles to store the breast milk that I have just pumped and when I pumped the first time it was very painful that I cried <sighs> just imagining it is giving me goosebumps and making me cringe but I still bared with it because I needed to pump I needed to express out my milk well, while I'm in the office so I can bring it back at home and feed it to my son and when I was pumping the milk I had is not enough to sustain my growing baby my growing boy I'm lucky to have an office mate who is also breastfeeding she has oversupply of breast milk she's donating to hospitals and donating to me and to my other colleagues who also just gave birth and breastfeed i want to say hi to la so the point when i stopped using the pump is when i had mastitis mastitis is the condition where you have a plug ducts and your tissues are inflamed and is associated with infection at the time when i had mastitis the symptoms were fever chills uh, body ache i was sore all over and i had this bad headache it's like a, a flu and a migraine at the same time uh, it was horrible yeah so i asked a lactation consultant for help and it's through her that I learned there's this another method to express your milk a more natural way which is the hand expression of breast milk you can search in YouTube you can google it or you can ask a lactation consultant to teach you so hand expression is just really using your hands in, in expressing or in pumping out your milk it's a massage technique it's not painful like the pump it's not destroying my tissue and it's not forcing my 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 lactation ducts unnaturally to bring out milk so the hand expression is really really a skill you need to practice it my tip number four is don't pressure yourself if you were like me who researched in the internet 24 7 about breastfeeding how to breastfeed uh, can i breastfeed uh, please stop stress is the number one culprit affecting our hormones uh, called oxytocin which is responsible for our milk supply so if you have low oxytocin hormone level because you are stressed then it also affects your supply you have to learn how to relax and just let it go and go with the flow and coming to terms with yourself and with your milk supply my tip number five is to get enough sleep. I know it's especially hard if you just gave birth. It was for me. I tried to match the body clock of my baby. So whenever he's asleep, I also try to sleep. And I put my, my phone and my gadgets down because when it's near me, so instead of sleeping, I, I browse the internet, I, I window shop online. So please just turn it off and or put your phones on silent. Stress together with lack of sleep decreases your oxytocin hormone level that, respon that is responsible in your milk supply. So my tip number six is to trust your baby. Mommies, we have to remember that breastfeeding is a beautiful bond between you and your baby. So just keep on latching because your baby naturally knows by instinct what to do. Before we end, uh, remember the most important thing is fed is best. If you are still struggling with your milk supply and with breastfeeding, even after trying out my tips or even after consulting with a lactation uh, expert, uh, then please don't hesitate to mix feed. There is nothing wrong with mix feeding or with formula feeding. It's just another form of uh, giving nourishment to your baby. So that's it. I hope it helped you in a way. And if you know somebody who, who needs uh, breastfeeding tips like this, please share my video to your friend, to your mom, to your colleague that needs help on breastfeeding. So later I will make another video about weaning off your baby. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Ha, 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 ha.